Both the Luna and the Magura rotor are floating rotors, which means they have a little gap right there. It helps with the heat dissipation. There's something about the design of the Luna rotor that looks super cool, how, uh, how little there is really holding it together. Um, but that, that makes me question its structural integrity. Somebody posted on the Facebook page this photo. Uh, of it breaking exactly because of this design so I don't know how much I trust it but it does look cool and I'm sure it's good for heat dissipation. And the Magura also has that same little spider. Cute little spider. The Magura rotor also has these gaps that make it a floating rotor, however, the design does look stronger than the Luna. So it looks like the Luna disc is thicker than the Magura, but it's also noticeably heavier. I'm going to go ahead and put the Luna rotor on, test it, and then I'm going to put the Magura rotor on and test it. Alright, so I've got the stock rotor on here. I'm going to hit 30 miles an hour and then I'm going to just use the front brake. Oh, that was the back brake, idiot. Okay, one more time. It's pretty decent stopping power. You really don't need an upgrade. Let's see. All right, so that's squeezing with two fingers pretty much as hard as I can. Let's go check out the other rotors. All right, right off the bat, I'm not a fan of the Luna Rotor. Listen to this. So, I'm well aware how to align the brake caliper. I have a tutorial on it. I straight up think they made this rotor way too thick. That it rubs up against the caliper housing itself. It's not even the pads. And these are stock calipers, so. The rotor is just so thick. Thick, look at that. It's just barely clearing. Bruh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can hear that. All right, well, I got the Luna rotor on here. It barely fits. I really, like, either there's something I'm doing totally wrong or they made this rotor a little too thick for the stock calipers. Uh, it'll probably wear down over time, but right now it's really, really rubbing and that's annoying. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit 30 and see what kind of stopping power I get on it. God, this feels like trash. 
Listen to this. Bruh. <laughs> Why is it so thick? All right, I'm gonna go realign it. It's really rubbing. Listen to that. All right, it's dark now, but um, I've got the rotor, the mirror on. Tiny, tiny bit of rubbing, not nearly as much as the uh, Luna. Let's go check it out. All right, I've got the Magira rotor. Check it out. I know it's dark, sorry. Um, let's check it out. Uh, that was a real use of the brake. Hold up. Damn, I hate riding at night, but the sun sets at like four o'clock. How am I supposed to ride during the day? All right, so for real, for real, there's no difference in the braking power, okay? I've heard a lot, a lot of people say the bigger rotor you get more braking well I guess the bigger rotor you would get more braking powder but sticking with the stock diameter uh, rotor and just getting a new one I'm not seeing any difference in the braking power uh, and boy is it a pain in the ass to, to to align the caliper so it's not rubbing it was actually impossible with the Luna I could not for the life of me get it not to rub they were really pushing it with how thick they made that rotor so I feel like if you're trying to upgrade your brake, your braking power, you're gonna have to do it by getting a, uh, a new caliper. So maybe the Hope V4s or some Magura calipers um, with uh, the hydraulic levers and all that. Get some new brake pads like uh, the Shimano brake pads I have. But the rotor, I really don't see the point of getting a new rotor. They're expensive, and they rub. <laughs> um, they look cool, and, and, and the floating ones, like the Magura, allegedly they have better heat dissipation. Uh, but unless you're like really riding your ass off, or uh, you're modifying up to uh, a newer controller and a bigger battery, um, then the heat dissipation could be nice. So I'm getting a 72 volt battery, and a controller for this bike. So I'm gonna be going really fast. I'm gonna be braking a lot. So the fact that it's a floating rotor with some good heat dissipation, that's a good thing. So I'll probably be keeping the Magura rotor, but would I recommend it? No, I wouldn't recommend any new rotors. I would keep the stock rotor as is. You gotta be really riding at like a professional level to need either a new rotor or new calipers. So I've been talking to Andy at Suron Pit Stop who runs one of these rotors and he said that in order to install it he had to bleed his brakes. Uh, if I were to do that I would go to a shop and the fact that you have to do that to get this rotor to fit is really annoying and a turn off for myself. Uh, and I also told him I didn't notice any uh, increase in stopping power which didn't surprise me because it's the same diameter so the physics of it are the same. Uh, and he said that uh, you only notice an increase in stopping power over the course of the ride because it's got um, the floating design and better heat dissipation because it's uh, thicker and whatnot. Over the course of the ride you should be having more reliable braking compared to the stock rotor. Although I've been riding the life out of these rotors and I haven't had any issues with them. Um, so do I think it's worth $60 and bleeding your brakes to install a new rotor? Not at all. So in conclusion is it worth upgrading from the stock rotor to a Magura or a Luna rotor? These are all the same diameter. The Luna is thick as hell. I really don't know why it's so thick. 
The Magira is also thick, but not as thick, so it doesn't rub as much, still rubs. And the stock rotor is literally perfect. So, is it worth upgrading? No. Does, do the upgraded rotors look cool? Definitely. Do they have better heat dissipation? Probably. Is it worth paying 60 to 80 dollars? No, not in my opinion. Feel free to disagree. Leave a comment if you disagree. But uh, if I hadn't already bought these, I probably would have just stuck with my stock rotor. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. Yeah, I'm on my own.